Hi, Grace Downtown, family of God. I am glad to be connecting with you, even if it's virtually, though my longing is to see you face to face and to be together. However, this is what God has given us for this time, and he's determined to be good. In time is really the thing that's been on my mind as of late. All of us are faced right now with an unprecedented amount of time. It might be uh, your time is more uh, lonely and isolated. It might be you feel like your time is more haggard and unstructured. But we're trying to figure out how do we deal with this new feeling of time that God has given us. And the phrase that's been on my mind mostly is redeem the time. The Bible uh, says in many ways time is a battlefield. While it might seem like it's just a neutral thing, we know spiritually speaking, it presents opportunities and it also presents temptations. And so we, we have uh, new uh, opportunities and new temptations before us that we didn't have even a week ago. It might be the opportunity to slow down, to connect with God, to uh, connect with friends, or it might be the temptations you typically and proactively scheduled out, like the temptation to turn to alcohol or pornography or just binging and numbing with uh, television. They seem nearer to you. The scripture actually understands this. And uh, in the book of Ephesians, we hear, uh, look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise making the best use of the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not get drunk with wine, for that is debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. You hear in that passage both the opportunity and temptation the opportunity to grow, to connect, singing psalms, uh, being in the Word of God, the temptation in that case being alcohol, but it could be many other things. Uh, we need each other right now. We need to pray for one another and how we handle our time. But I also uh, want to put before you one opportunity. Starting next week, I'd like to lead us in a 14-day interactive Bible study on the final week of Jesus's life. Many times when it comes to Holy Week, I find myself being surprised. It's, it's here already, and I hadn't really reflected a whole lot. Well, this would be an opportunity for us to spend time uh, reflecting in the scripture in preparation for Holy Week, whether we're able to gather or if we meet virtually. Either way, uh, it's coming, praise God. And in that, um, I'd like to uh, offer an opportunity that would not only be getting in the Bible for 15 minutes a day, but also for you to be able to post your big thought and then have some Q&A by way of live streaming. So you, you'll see a sign-up link that will appear tomorrow or maybe today. And I'd like you to, to think and pray whether this would be one way to redeem the time. I am praying for you, as all the leadership team is, uh, with a heavy and hopeful heart, and uh, God's love and grace to you.